Hello everyone! First and foremost, I hope that you are all safe and healthy at home during this lockdown. And as you have seen in the introduction of this video, today I unbox the, the James Brand Carryology Collaboration Multi-Tool. And because this is a very small item or let's say a very small set, let's switch to the over-shoulder camera. So this is the James Brand Carryology Collaboration Multi-Tool Set. I haven't taken a look at this before. I only have seen the images on the website on, and on Instagram. Let's open this up carefully. Open the package. So inside there is a small note. This is called the Rover Capsule. It consists of the Alice that I have reviewed before. You can see it, the link in the info tab above. And there is a bit driver and the so-called still well. So let's see. Oh, that's nice. So this is inside this little sleeve to keep all of the multi-tool items very neatly in place. It has a small little grab handle. So if you have this inside your backpack, you could just easily pull this out. This is really neat. And this is folded and stitched together in a way that potentially you could add a carabiner in here. So let's start with the multi-tool first. So this is basically um, a different version of the Alice. The Alice had a knife in here and a bottle opener, but this version has, instead of a knife, it has some pairs of scissors. It is a liner lock. The Alice was also a liner lock and you push on this button here in the back and then you can switch it back inside and on the other hand you have the um, the bottle opener and a small little flathead screwdriver also it is liner locked so the idea is that obviously you can't bring a knife in your carry-on um, luggage so what they did is instead of having a knife you have small little scissors which are really helpful. Obviously, it's not as intimidating and as dangerous as a knife, but this is still very useful, very flexible. And yeah, it's, it's a small blade, so I assume that you can easily bring this on a plane. And the overall feel is very nice. I'm not really sure what this material is. I'm not sure if it's a form of plastic or even Mikata, I'm not 100% sure. Please keep in mind that with all of these unboxings and first looks, I intentionally don't look at the manual or at the website to give you a very honest first impression of that particular item. And yeah, I, I did not inform myself about this item, so I'm not sure what this material is, but it feels very soft and very durable in my hands, and it does look pretty cool. Also, this little band here helps to pull the multi-tool out of this little sleeve. Next up, we have this little thing. Oh, that's the so-called bit driver. So inside, you see here, you have a little um, hole for your bits. Let me check so you can unscrew this here. And then inside you have one, no two, two small bits. So one Phillips, uh, a flathead screwdriver is already on the multi-tool. So there's a Phillips, I think it's called Phillips in, in English, and a small Torx bit, which is actually pretty neat if you have like an issue with a hard drive, for instance, because lots of electronic equipment uses Torx screws. So you can store that all in this little capsule and then attach the bits here and use it then as a screwdriver with either of these two bits. Obviously, if you need different bits, you can just buy them in the store and add your own bits inside here. Okay. 
So this is really well made. I like the color combination from this graphite, dark gray and this orange. I really like this combination. Yeah, this is really nice. So put this in and then you have... So this is the pen. So you can use this as a pen. If it looks like I'm shaking, I'm actually looking through the viewfinder of the camera and I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Um, while looking through the camera. That's not as easy as I would like it to be. So it does look a little bit like I'm shaking, but I'm not. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is a really cool alternative to a Fisher Space Pen. I'm not sure if this is also a Fisher Space Pen cartridge, but I assume that you could... Let's see, what cartridge is this? No, it's just a regular uh, ball pen mine. I'm not sure if you could... No, it's, it's, it's too small to fit a Fisher Space Pen cartridge, I believe. So... Yeah, but this is the pen. This is really nice. Having a pen with you all the time is really neat, especially during these corona times where you don't want to touch other items and having your own pen is really nice, especially when you're traveling, you have to fill out those visa forms and then you have your own pen in here. So this is really nice. So also a nice idea for this um, bit driver thing is that you could use this also as a place to store emergency cash, for instance. So you could probably just fill a bill, a small little bill in here, roll it up and put it inside if you don't want to use the bits in the bit driver. So yeah, this is the James Brand Carryology Rover Capsule Set consisting of the Alice Multi-Tool. Instead of a blade, there is a pair of scissors the bit driver set and the still well, which is a pen. Okay, that was the very quick unboxing and first look at the Carryology James Brand multi-tool collaboration. I think this is a really cool set, especially if you want to put this into your carry-on luggage because it doesn't have any blades on here besides the blades of the very small scissors. And I assume that this wouldn't be a problem to put into your carry-on luggage, but I'm not 100% sure. You probably need to check the specific airlines for that. But other than that, I think this is very well made. I really like the design of the graphite aluminum with the orange anodized aluminum on the top. I think this is really cool color combination. All of these tools feel very high quality and very good. That being said, I can totally understand that people, yeah, aren't satisfied with the amount of tools that you can find here because basically you only have a pair of scissors, a bottle opener, a flathead screwdriver, um, a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx and a pen. Obviously that's not that many tools. A bottle opener wouldn't be that useful in a plane. The scissors obviously are. The pen is also great if you are on a plane. So I feel like that there are, I think Leatherman has a TSA friendly tool that has a couple of more tools inside. Um, I'm not sure how it's called, but yeah, seeing that there aren't that many tools on here, I can totally understand if some of you would say, yeah, looks cool, looks nice, but it isn't for me. I think in terms of build quality, design, looks, and specific usability like the scissors this is a great set and i can see myself putting this into a carry-on luggage that being said i can also understand if other people would opt for a swiss army knife this obviously doesn't get into a carry-on luggage because there is a blade but yes yeah, mentioned i can totally see when people rather opt for something like this which is way more cheaper than the James Brand knife and has a couple of more tools to it. But if you value design, I always compare James Brand a little bit like the Apple 
of the everyday carry world so it's very well designed very well made and therefore a little bit more expensive than other tools but yeah i'm starting to ramble a little bit it is a cool tool you need to decide for yourself if this is actually something that you need if you value design if you value high quality um, craftsmanship then i think this is a really cool set especially for your carry-on uh, luggage so last but not least let me know is this something that you would consider getting for your day-to-day -day use or your carry-on luggage if not what would you get alternatively for a TSA friendly multi-tool let me know in the comment section below and like always if you have any other questions also comment below and if you enjoyed this video click the like button and please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos stay healthy stay safe and yeah see you in the next videos thank you very much